Hi, second graders. Today we are going to listen to a story titled Big Red Lollipop by Roxana Khan, illustrated by Sophie Blackall. Before I read, I'm going to notice the front cover has someone holding a big red lollipop. I also notice that in the upper left corner, it says genre, which tells me the category or type of book that this is. It says realistic fiction. Earlier this week, we learned that realistic fiction is a story with made up characters that could be real in real life and a story that has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So we can predict that this story will have made up characters, but they could be real in real life and has a beginning, middle, and end. I also see our essential question is listed on the front cover as well. It reads, how are families around the world the same and different? Read about how a girl and her sisters get along. I'm so excited I run all the way home from school. Ah me, I've been invited to a birthday party. There's going to be games and toys, cake and ice cream. Can I go? Sana screams, I want to go too. Ami says, what's a birthday party? It's when they celebrate the day you were born. Why did they do that? They just do. Can I go? Sana screams, I want to go too. I can't take her. She's not invited. Why not? Says Ami. They don't do that here. Ami says, well, that's not fair. You call up your friend and ask if you can bring Sana or else you can't go. But Ami, they'll laugh at me. They'll never invite me to another party again. Sana screams, I want to go too. I say, look, Sana, one day you'll get invited to your own friend's parties. Wouldn't you like that better? No, I want to go now. I beg and plead, but Ami won't listen. I have no choice. I have to call. Sally says, all right, but it doesn't sound all right. I know she thinks I'm weird. At the party, I'm the only one who brought her little sister. Sana has to win all the games, and when she falls down during musical chairs, she cries like a baby. Before we leave the party, Sally's mom gives us little bags. Inside, there are chocolates and candies, a whistle, a ruby ring, and a big red lollipop. Sana eats her big red lollipop on the way home in the car. I save mine for later. Sana doesn't know how to make things last. By bedtime, her candies are all gone. Her whistle is broken and the ruby in her ring is missing. I put my big red lollipop on the top shelf of the fridge to have in the morning. All night I dream about how good it will taste. In the morning, I get up early to have it. Sana's already up. When she sees me, she runs away. I open the fridge door. All that's left of my lollipop is a triangle stuck to a stick. Sana! I'm going to stop and check second graders because there is a visualize um, sign on our page 43. It reads, what happened to the lollipop? And what does this tell you about Sana? So even though the author hasn't told us, what do you think happened to the big red lollipop in the refrigerator? Hmm. Let's read on to find out. I hear a sound in the front hall closet. I should have known. That's where she always hides. I shove aside the coats and boots. I'm going to get you. Quick as a rat, she scoots through my legs and runs around and around the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, yelling, Ami, Ami, help, help. Ami comes out, rubbing her eyes. Sana runs behind Ami, where I can't get her. What's going on out here, says Ami. Sana says, 
Rubina's trying to get me. Mommy puts her hands on her hips. Are you trying to get your little sister again? She ate my lollipop. The greedy thing, she ate it. Ami says, for shame, it's just a lollipop. Can't you share with your little sister? I want to cry, but I don't. Sana runs to the fridge and brings back the triangle stuck to the stick. Look, I didn't eat all of your lollipop. I left the triangle for you. See, says Ami, she didn't eat all of it. She's sharing with you. Go ahead, take the triangle. So I have to take it. Go ahead, eat the triangle. But I don't. With all my might, I throw it across the room. It skitters under the sofa. Sana scurries after it and eats that too. The worst thing is that all the girls at school know if they invite me to their birthday parties, I have to bring Sana. I don't get any invitations for a really long time. Then, one day, Sana comes home waving an invitation. Ami, I've been invited to a birthday party. There's going to be games and toys and cake and ice cream. Can I go? Our little sister, Miriam, screams. I want to go too. Sana says, no, I can't take her. She's not invited. Hmm. I see another stop and check. What do you think will happen if Sana takes Miriam to the party? Ami says, well, it's only fair. You went to Rubina's friend's party. Now Rubina and Miriam can go to your friend's party. I say, leave me out of it. Ami says, fine then, you have to take Miriam. Now it's Sana's turn to beg and plead. Ami won't listen. Sana's begging so hard she's crying, but still Ami won't listen. I could just watch her have to take Miriam. I could just let her make a fool of herself at that party. I could just let her not be invited to any more parties. But something makes me tap Ami on the shoulder. What? Don't make Sana take Miriam to the party. No, says Ami. No, I say. Ami thinks for a moment, then says, Okay, so Sana gets to go by herself. After the party, I hear a knock on my door. What do you want? I asked Sana. Here, she hands me a big green lollipop. This is for you. Thanks, I say. After that, we are friends. So, second graders, Tomorrow, you will be working on some comprehension questions on this story. So be ready to think and talk about this story tomorrow.